The Alice Austin House on the northwestern corner of Staten Island is one of the 22 houses in the Historic House Trust collection. The Trust supports architecturally and culturally significant house museums in parks throughout the city. The Alice Austin House Museum is an amazing house. A uh, small part of it dates back to the 1690s as a Dutch one-room farmhouse. In 1844, it was bought by John Haggerty Austin, and in 1866, his granddaughter Alice was born. Eleven years later, she received a camera from her seafaring uncle, and it literally changed her life. It, it enriched her life enormously. And so we want to bring that same experience to kids today. And, and that's idea, our idea behind our school programs. We, we give kids cameras, uh, digital cameras, disposable cameras, Polaroid cameras, and they get to explore their own creativity. There's so many places in New York City that people don't know about and that they don't know are open to the public. And it's really fun to be introduced to them. So I always go on the class trips because I get to find out things. Um, I, I think it's a beautiful spot. It's wonderful to see the harbor. The kids really have enjoyed much of what they've seen here is a comparison between how it was and how it's changed. So they'll look at photographs and then try to find the same vantage point from a contemporary point of view. We were given um, old pictures taken by Alice Austin and we had to take a picture of our friends standing in front of that same place where we thought that Alice took that picture. Um, her photograph, it looks like maybe her grandfather, and in my photograph is Major and Andrew. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, yeah. 1896. So that just fits our question. Just right. I brought my class to Alice Austin because uh, in social studies right now, we've just completed a study of the Civil War, and I thought it'd be a great way to learn about living in that time period and what kinds of things people would have done and what kind of homes they would have lived in and changes they would have faced in that time period. To be able to leave the school building and come to a place like this and sort of see history as it was, you know, and then its relationship to time and change. I think it's a great way to learn about the past because they can see it for themselves. Alice captured some 8,000 glass plate negatives. Thus, she became one of America's earliest and most prolific female photographers. But she was much more than that. She was a trailblazer. She turned her back to the Victorian conventions. And she never married. Uh, she never had kids. Instead, she spent most of her life with Gertrude Tate, her, her longtime companion. She was a master tennis player when tennis was just introduced from the Bahamas in the 1880s. She was the first woman on Staten Island to own her own car, which she knew how to fix when it broke down. She was the founder and first president of the Staten Island Garden Club. She took her bike with, the, with 50 pounds of photography equipment. She biked along the seashore here to the Staten Island Ferry, onto Manhattan, and she just captured everything she saw. She was a very great woman because usually women in that time wouldn't really do stuff like that. So she was very like, I dislike her. <laughs> I think she was like really, you know, like she believed that she can do anything that she wanted to do. Not many other women did what she was doing. Like they didn't really handle all the equipment. And I think that she worked that hard just to take a few photographs because she really loved photography. Mostly you learn about things where something like that would happen. It's all about a dude. So it's an amazing life. Alice was born right after the Civil War and she dies in the Cold War. It's a terrific story. She was a wonderful woman and her house is, a, is just an amazing sight and, and we're so lucky to have it here today. The Alice Austin House is also a gallery for contemporary photography. Contact the museum to find out what exhibit is currently showing.